mobile network operators lack visibility to attacks and threats over signaling and application layer. They can also not identify the type, source, and the entry point of these attacks to the network infrastructure. Hi, I'm Sachin Verma, Senior Product Manager for Service Provider Solutions here at Palo Alto Networks. In this Lightboard series, we will talk about the different types of attacks and concerns which the mobile network operators have related to security. We will describe how our next generation security platform can help the operators uh, to tackle all these concerns and the different types of security threats. We will also share detail about our new GTP security capability, how it will help the mobile network operators to gain visibility at different points in their network, how to correlate the data and user and the device uh, information, as well as how they can use these capabilities to prevent these attacks at different entry points in their network. The attack surface in the mobile networks have changed due to increased use of IoT devices. The smartphones have become more powerful and there has been increased use of converged access with the wireline and non-3GPP access. which connects to the Wi-Fi access point for the Wi-Fi offloading and also the increased use of roaming. Now, all these changes have led to the newer types of security concerns and threats. Now, if we look at the legacy um, security architecture, it has always been focused on the SGI and GI interface. Now, the SGI GI firewall has primarily been port IP based firewall, and it was only protecting the network from these threats coming over the internet. So uh, that's where uh, all the focus of the mobile network uh, operators security strategies have always been on the SGI GI interface. Now you can see we have new uh, interfaces, new pairing points, which has been you know, introduced. Um, and also because of these new use cases of IoT devices um, and the po powerful uh, smartphones, we are seeing there is a you know, increase in this threat landscape. So uh, because of this, the mobile network operators have lots of security concerns. Um, let's take a look at the top two security concerns of mobile network operators. So the first one is service disruption. Now, service disruption can happen because of signaling storms. So signaling storms, floods. It can happen due to application layer attacks. And it can happen due to abnormal traffic, abnormal signaling traffic. The, uh, and the second security concern, which is on the top of the mind of mobile network operators, is the poor visibility. Now, if we look at 
a typical mobile network operator infrastructure, um, most of the network um, inside, if you look at the backhaul uh, in the non-3GPP on the roaming side, all the communication which happens inside the network, all the subscriber and the device data is carried over the GTP tunnels. So uh, GTP has two parts, the control and user. So all the data layer traffic, which is the IP traffic, is carried inside the GTP tunnels. Now uh, you can see in this um, security architecture, the legacy security architecture, the SGI GI firewall is primarily sitting on the SGI GI interface. So basically there is no capability whatsoever inside the network to look at these types of you know, malicious activities and actually uh, then provide prevention. So this poor visibility is really uh, on the control signaling as well as on the data layer. Now, our next generation security platform can solve all these concerns. So basically, let's take a look at what capabilities we can provide and how we solve this concern. So first of all, we provide complete visibility. So this complete visibility is to all the signaling layer, uh, like GTP control. And the visibility to the application layer. And the visibility inside the tunnel traffic, which is the GTPU. So we provide this capability to look inside the GTPU tunnels, and then we can apply all our prevention capabilities, all our security capabilities to uh, scan this traffic, to apply our um, uh, prevention capabilities for the known threats, for the unknown threats, um, as well as we can provide the correlation. And the another one is the correlation. Now this correlation is between the IP traffic which is flowing inside IP and the control traffic flowing inside the mobile network as well as uh, the signaling traffic. So we can provide correlation with IMSI and IMEI. So IMSI is the International Mobile Subscriber Identity which is the SIM card uh, identification number and IMEI is the equipment identity which is your device ID. So basically, um, not only we can um, you know, give you visibility of what type of traffic, we can also tell you, you know, what is the source um, of this malicious traffic. And then for the prevention, we can prevent your network from the signaling storms. So we have the prevention capabilities to prevent uh, your network from signaling storms by applying various rate limiting capabilities. We can prevent your network from the application attack. Um, now because we can look inside the tunnel traffic, so this enables us to prevent uh, your IoT and your smartphone um, of your subscribers from the unknown and known threats. So, um, and in addition to this, we also helps you to give the expanded um, threat prevention. So by that I mean you can apply our next generation security platform on the RAN side, as well as you can apply this on the roaming side, as well as on the non-3GPP access. 
So basically, we reduce the attack surface. So we provide you the complete visibility. We reduce the attack surface. We also help to detect and prevent your network from signaling and control layer attacks. So in the next uh, lightboard of this series, we will talk more in detail about the RAND security use case. Thanks for watching.